record and save uh, and get started with tonight's midweek mindfulness. And tonight I thought I would start a bit of a series of seven um, short discussions on the attitudes, the, the foundational attitudes that underpin mindfulness. Now, I've discovered these attitudes in uh, more of a secular setting of mindfulness. So I did a very short course through uh, the University of Michigan, and that's where I first discovered these. And I've just recently found them again in a psychological sort of adaptation of mindfulness. But I haven't come across these sort of attitudinal foundations within Buddhism itself. So this is really taking a jump outside of where I'm coming from, from the Buddhist meditation. But I think they really do underpin mindfulness in a really good way. And everything that I've learned in Buddhism supports these and vice versa. So I just thought tonight we'd do one. And that first one is sort of arguably the most important one. And I have already mentioned this word a couple of times throughout the last few weeks where I talk about being non-judging. So, for example, if you were focusing on your breath or you're focusing on your body or whatever it might be, and your mind wanders off to, um, you know, the phone call you should have made or what you're going to have for dinner tonight or when is this going to end? When you catch your mind wandering off and you bring it back to that focus of your mindfulness, don't judge yourself over your mind wandering off. So I've said that a couple of times and I hope you've, you've heard me. So don't be too critical on yourself, be a little bit careful um, and just gently bring your mind back onto your object of, of meditation. And that, So that's how I've been referring to it over the last few weeks. But from a broader sense, the reason we want to practice this non-judging attitude within our actual sitting is because we want to take that attitude into our life. Because our brain has a natural tendency to judge. Okay, we see something and we'll label it. We'll judge it. We'll say we like it or we don't like it. And that label, that judgment, instantly either opens things up for us or closes things down. And you might have uh, experienced this yourself already in, in life you, you you meet someone that you don't particularly like you've judged them as not a nice person or whatever label you want to use and you probably don't truly listen to them you're probably just waiting for the conversation and you might be thinking of an excuse that you can throw in to say look sorry I've got to go because you really don't want to be there you don't like this person you don't like their attitude towards politics or whatever it might be so you you don't truly listen you're not being mindful of the conversation, that person, your own maybe behaviours. You might even be a tiny little bit rude or ruder than you would normally be. So that you, you might have already experienced that. So the idea of being non-judging is so that you can be truly open to whatever it is that you're um, experiencing. Yes, it might not be a particularly pleasant experience. But you, true, you do still want to be truly open to that experience so that you can respond in a skillful way that you're happy with, that you're proud of. Sure, you may still want to make your excuses and leave, uh, but you do, it in a, you do it in a nice, polite, as friendly a manner as, as you can because that's what you want to be, assuming here that everyone wants to be kind of be polite to everyone else. Um, sure, if you don't mind being nasty, then you just tell them to get jump, go jump and, and you leave. But I'm sort of making the assumption that we, we want to be as nice sort of a person as we can be for our own sake. So we're mindful that we have judged or that we are labelling so that we can respond in a skillful way rather than just react. So now judging itself... Don't fall into the trap of judging your judgingness, if that makes sense. Because that's what it means to be human. Our brain does judge things. And it does it for a number of reasons that we don't have time to get into tonight. You know, right from um, our survivability 
to uh, just looking after our own needs and, and attitudes and the like. So the fact that we judge and the fact that we do label things with useful or not useful, I like, I don't like, etc. Don't judge that. That's a given. Your brain's going to do that for you. So that's like judging the judging. We, we want to just be aware that we are judging. So if you do come up against that person that you really don't uh, get along with, be aware, be mindful that you are putting that label on that person for whatever reason and then be mindful of how you respond. Maybe later you might want to sort of inquire or analyse why did I judge them in the first place? What am I basing that on? Is it overdue for renewal and, and maybe I can label them with a, a better um, label or something like that? But, but in the moment... We want to practice our mindfulness. I'm going to turn my phone off. <laughs> Excuse me. So we really don't want to get pinned down in the idea that we want to remove judging. Because like I said, that's what our brain just naturally does as a, as a living organism. Animals do the same. They'll look up and they'll see an, another animal and they'll judge immediately as a predator and they'll run. It saves its life. Or they might look up and see the other animal and go, oh, you're, you're part of my tribe, you're part of my, my um, pack, I'm okay. So judging is a natural part. What we want to do is become mindful of when we judge what label we're using and how that was going to impact our response and attitude. So tonight we're going to go through a body scan and I'm going to ask you to be just keep an eye out for any times that you might judge. Some people who have a bit of a body image will start judging themselves when they maybe get to part of their body they don't like. You know, they might get to their nose and then they'll automatically think, oh, I'll skim past that because I hate my nose. It's to this or it's to that. That's a judgment. So just be aware of that because then I'm going to ask you some questions to think about after that body scan. Uh, it might be your feet, it might be your ears, it might be whatever it is. If you've got any judgment about your body, be aware if it comes up. If your mind does wander to some other topic, just catch yourself if you're judging, oh, I can't meditate, I've been doing this for weeks now, why can't I keep my mind on, on the focus? Or, oh, I've probably been daydreaming for moments and moments and I didn't catch myself, that's not very good. So that's a little judgment. So just for the next sort of 10, 15 minutes as we do this body scan, on top of our mindfulness of body scanning, I'm going to ask you to try and see if you do judge anything. Um, and don't judge yourself for judging. As I said, that happens naturally. Just um, maybe make a little mental note of that judgment and we can reflect on that at the end. So hopefully that's reasonably clear what we're going to do. Um, so we will settle in to do a little bit of body scanning. So however you're... Uh, seated, get yourself comfortable. Might want to do a little bit of wriggling or um, moving around just to get yourself in the posture that's going to be reasonably comfortable. You can close your eyes or not. You can turn your video feeds off or not. It's up to you. And so just overall, let's look at our body first of all and check our posture. So our feet want to be relatively far if we are in a chair. If we're on a cushion and our legs are crossed, try to get them reasonably comfortable. You don't need to go full lotus. Your ears and the crown of your head should be roughly above your shoulders and your shoulders are roughly above your hips both in a chair and sitting on a cushion. So possibly just move your torso backwards and forwards a little until you find that nice balance point. And even maybe left or right until you find a nice balance point. 
And remember to tuck your chin in just a tiny little bit, which helps align our head, our neck and our shoulders. Your arms can just be relaxed either anywhere you like, anywhere that's comfortable, resting in your lap or on your thighs. Usually your palms are facing upwards, but whatever is comfortable for you. And just keep one eye on, one mental eye, on any little moment of judgment that might pop in. So let's just start from the crown of our head. Bring all your attention to the crown on top of your head. And imagine a tiny little piece of string just gently pulling that tall lifts our spine and our shoulders, tucks in our chin. Now expand that focus to the entire top of our head, the whole top, the solar panel that I like to call it, and just check in there with how that's feeling, where it is, Now we move down to the right side of our head. Move your whole attention down to the right side of your head and your face. Focusing here on your ear and your cheek. More feeling these. Feel your ear. Feel your cheek. Check in for any sensations. Just linger there for a moment. Now let's move our attention around to the back of our head, back of our skull, from the crown down to our neck, part of our body that we rarely take notice of, but we might carry a bit of tension here. Again checking in for any sensations, really stretching out our mind any feelings we have in the back of our head. Let's continue now taking our focus around to the left side of our head. So all the way down the left side of our head which includes the left ear and the left cheek. Feel that ear, feel the cheek. How do we know it's there? Let's keep the swing going around to the face. Here we've got a lot to check in with. Our forehead, eyes, nose, mouth, chin. Is there any tension in our eyes, our forehead? What sensations are there throughout our whole face?
really just honing in to the feeling of our body. Let's begin to gently move on down to our neck. Here we're exploring our entire neck, all the way around, including inside, our spine and our throat. See if we can visualize all that makes up our neck. We're looking for sensations, movement, maybe some noise. Let's drop our focus down to our shoulders, just slowly almost letting it fall down to our shoulders. Here we might check in for some stress, sensations of cold or heat, tingling. to our upper arms, both arms at once, or if you wish, just the right one, our right upper arm. Just get familiar with it, how does it feel? Moving down to our elbow. And now down to our forearm. And all the way down to our hand and all the fingers. Either both, if you're doing both, or just the right hand. Let them fall naturally, fingers curling. Now expand your focus to include your entire arm hand, forearm, elbow, upper arm, and the part of our shoulder that holds that arm. At this point, if you're doing just one arm, you may feel a little lopsided. That might be just me. Going back down to our hands, if you were just doing your right arm, now let's travel up the left. If you're doing both, we're going to travel back up both. So focusing on our hands, how are they feeling? Moving up to our forearms. Are both forearms feeling about the same? Are they relaxed? A 
up to our elbows. If you're just doing one at a time, you're focusing on your left elbow. Now our upper arms, left upper arm or both. Now let's expand our focus to include the entire arm. Just the left one, if you've done one at a time, or both. Feel them just hanging from your shoulders, resting peacefully in your lap. We'll bring our attention now to our chest the upper part of our torso. So the upper part of our torso is our chest and our back and even the sides. This is a very important part containing our heart our lungs, our rib cage and spine. Let's let our focus drop down now to the bottom half of our torso. Here's our spine our sides and our stomach. We'll linger here on our stomach just a moment. Watch ourselves breathe. Notice any noises from our digestion. Check in with any lower back pain. Now let our focus fall once again down to our hips and our pelvic girdle. That whole region that joins our legs to our torso. Notice any contact with whatever surface is holding us. A chair or cushion, floor. Any sensations? As we move on down to our upper legs, here again there's sensations with contact with the chair, Maybe some tingling by now, we've been sitting still a little while. Remember to keep one mental eye out for any judgment. Moving on down to our knees. Now 
let's move on down to our shins and our calves just checking in observing noting And finally, down to our feet. stay in that sort of focus or feel free to transition back to the wider zoom and Facebook environment but as I talked about and introduced to the beginning of this session we're looking at non-judgment so during that body scan I asked you to just keep an eye out for any times you may have judged judged your body judged your ability to concentrate and focus mindfully or maybe you jumped to dinner you just had and judged that it wasn't hot enough or cooked properly many many judgments we may possibly have made in that last 20 minutes so if you did find yourself judging I'd ask you to think now just to yourself, what did that feel like? What did that judgment feel like in you? If you didn't during that meditation session just then, then maybe think of a time in your life you have judged, judged yourself or someone else. And see if you can recall what it felt like. See if you can recall what facial expression you may have made, even for a microsecond. Frown or lips. Did that feeling of judgment change your posture, even just for a minute? Did you stiffen up? So we're trying to really get in tune with what's happening in our body when we judge. So that way when we judge anything in future, we might recognize it just a little quicker. We might be just a little more mindful that we are judging. And as I said, there's nothing particularly wrong with that judging in the first place. But there might be in how we respond to it. Were there any particular words that you used, either verbally, out loud, or silently, mindfully, in that instant of judging? And finally, is there someone in your world that you believe does this non-judging attitude very well that you would like to maybe emulate or take some lessons from? So I won't ask anybody to share, but if somebody does have a comment or something they would like to share, please feel free. Maybe if you're a journaler or to keep a diary, this type of thing might be something you would consider journaling about. 
maybe over the next few days, if you would just be a little more mindful of your life, as we were all trying to be, otherwise I don't think we'd be here. And just see if you notice any moments that you judge or label, or even with something as simple as, oh, I don't like that. Someone might offer you a herbal tea, and you go, no thanks. You've said no because you've judged that you don't want it, or you don't like it, or you haven't got time to drink it, or something. So it might be a lesson for us to learn about our mindfulness and how we respond to judgments and labels. All the while not judging that fact, but just from a point of view to know ourselves a bit better so that we can respond how we want to respond to situations and not be on automatic pilot. All right, I'll leave it with you. We've got a few minutes left if anybody does wish to ask a question or, or comment. Otherwise, I'll leave it there and wish you all a great week. Thank you, Jim. No worries. You're very welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you did get something out of non-judging tonight. And uh, I'll yeah. see everybody next Wednesday. Thank you. Okay. Good night. And uh, thanks for watching. If anybody has any questions, please put them in the comments. Happy to discuss. And I'll try and do one of these every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. my time. Uh, feel free to join, share it, ask questions. I'm hoping that these uh, short mindfulness sessions will help you live a uh, happier, healthier life. Good night.